In this lesson, we are going to paint a peacock. This might be a little bit complicated for some of you guys, but let's break this up and let's do it step by step, and then you can follow along with me. We'll first determine a top marker there and also one near the bottom. This marker here, the second marker from the bottom, that's where the, the base of the body will be. And then this one there at the top where the head will be. So you can go ahead and create an oval there and also an oval here for the body. And now we'll create a curved line that will go into the neck. So this is the left side of the neck. And that will go into the upper part of the head. Let's work on the right side now. It's also a curved line. The neck is nice and thin. And this is the bottom section of the head. Then we've got a line there that connects that front portion. And this will go into the beak. Simply two or three curved lines and it makes a nice point. Now you can create a couple of curved lines here at the bottom for the legs. You can see that the legs are a little bit wider and thicker at the top part. And this will go into the feet. So the feet will have three toes, each one of them. Okay, so next we will work on the feather tails. So this part is a little bit tricky. The easiest way to do this is to create a curved line here at the bottom section, on the left side and the right. Then you can create a curved line that connects these two lines. So this line will go all the way to that top marker and then come down here to the right side. Almost looks like an upside down heart. So this line needs to be nice and soft. Don't make this too dark. This will be more or less a guide for us so that we can know where to place the feathers. Okay, so the first feather will be vertical and it will be completely in the center of this shape. It will also be more or less right behind the peacock. This will be our center line. And you can see the feathers are almost shaped like a baseball bat. Now you can continue to create each one of the other feathers and whatever you do on the left side, you need to do on the right side as well. So it needs to look exactly the same. Try to match these shapes so that they are exactly the same size, also the same shape. You can clearly see how that first shape that we created for the outline, how that's helping us. So this is a guide for us so that we can place all these feathers on the inside of that shape. Okay, so now when you're done with this, you can simply go ahead and erase that shape since we don't need that anymore. So the first part and section that we will paint will be the body of the peacock. So I decided to use a purple color. You can of course use anything that you want. I kind of like this purple. So use a medium sized brush for this and then you can carefully paint inside that shape that you created.
Once this shape is completely dry, we will continue to work on the feathers. So I decided to use a viridian green for each one of those feathers. And for this I'm using a mop brush. So you need to try to work as fast as you can because we want all of these layers to still be wet before we apply the next paint. Each one of these feathers we will be doing in different stages. So while the paint is still wet you can go ahead and take a bright yellow and then add that to the top section of the feather. You can see that's a wet in wet technique. You need to do that while the paint is still wet. Now we can move on, we'll work on the next two feathers and then we will add yellow again. So we'll continue to repeat this process. Add the green, add the yellow and then continue to do that until we're done with all the feathers. Notice how I kind of messed up this feather here on the right side. And the reason for this is I did not make the under layer, that's a green part, wet enough. So this basically happened because the green color was already dry when I applied the yellow. So that's why it's important for you to work quickly. Make sure that that first layer is still wet when you apply the yellow paint. For the legs I decided to use a red color. So this red has a little bit of a brown tone to it. That's exactly what I want. And then you can also use the same red for the beak of the bird. Okay, so the next step would be to add some blue here on top of the yellow. So I'm also using a mop brush for this. It's very important that you make sure that everything is completely dry before you do this step. So this will be wet paint on a dry surface. Once the blue is completely dry, you can go ahead now and add some red on the inside of that blue dot. 